drag strips after complete safety inspections. So that was how the Knights Hot Rod Club was organized. Mr. Hanks was its sponsor, and Jim Daniels agreed to be police department advisor. Mr. Hanks turned over a garage to the club and gave them enough tools and equipment for a start. Every hot rodder in town wanted to join, but the safe driving test and no ticket requirement kept out quite a few at the start. It didn't take long to get the strip ready, and when the Knights staged their grand opening and their first time trials and drag races, they were really on their way. The club began to impress people, the whole city in fact. The Knights were proud of their club and were out to build a new reputation for hot rodders, for courtesy and safe driving. More and more motorists in distress received club courtesy cards. They led a successful campaign for driver education and auto shop training in high school. And right away, this began paying off, just as it has everywhere. In a survey in one state, 800 untrained drivers had five times as many accidents as 800 who had received training in school. At the same time, the untrained drivers got seven times as many traffic tickets. Teenage drivers who are trained in school courses have a lot fewer accidents and get a whole lot less tickets than adult drivers. The driving teachers say that the students really go for it. Driving class is one they never miss. <laughs> 